is ready for an updated home remodel episode. This is episode three in my home remodel series and I know I have totally been procrastinating this video and honestly, not for any particular reason other than just, I, this whole process has, has been way more stressful than I expected. I've been so overwhelmed with everything house remodel and just, it was just easier for me to, to hold this off, but I do have a lot more episodes to share. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I typically do a lot of fashion, luxury, and lifestyle videos here. And right now I'm currently doing a home remodel series and this is episode three. You can see by the background of this video, we are still upstairs in the guest room. I'm doing my skincare. I just applied the Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Serum. Really like this serum. I am an IT Cosmetics partner. I did partner with them for today's video, but I actually started using a lot of their skincare a couple of months ago, right before I moved in, we moved into this house. I feel like whenever people think of IT Cosmetics, they think of their CC cream, they kind of revolutionized the makeup skincare game with that product, but they have some really, really amazing skincare products. I actually started using this. This is their, I'm about to put this on as well. This is their Confidence in a Cream uh, Super Cream Moisturizer. Let me just show you how much I love it. I've got an empty jar. I think the cats are in, over there making a mess and I just opened up a second jar. This cream is so, so good. If you like separating your skincare from AM and PM, you should also try their Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Moisturizer. It's kind of like the sister product to the Confidence uh, in a cream. Uh, I, I use this one a lot in the daytime and then this one at night. I will say the first jar, I use it day and night and then I just recently added this one to my nighttime routine when I added the serum into my routine as well. Sometimes I will say I do use this day and night, but it's more of like a nighttime serum. This one has vitamin C, ferroleuc, ferroleuc acid, polydatin. Um, it just feels really, really good on the skin. And I feel like, I don't know if you can tell, I feel like my skin, I've got some of that confidence in a cream. Um, my skin's just been really acting up. I think stress, but also just the move, also the season um, has made my skin really, really dry. So I have been needing just richer, more hydrating, nourishing products. I actually also added their Hyaluronic Acid Serum, the uh, Bye Bye Lines Serum to my routine over two months ago. You can see I have already gone through over half of the bottle. This is a 1.5% hyaluronic acid. It's got peptide, it's got vitamin B5. It's a concentrated derma serum. I really, really like this one as well. Every, no matter your skin type, you need to have a hyaluronic acid serum. This is how your skin basically holds on to its nat natural like hydration. Whether you are dry or oily, you still need that hydration and a hyaluronic acid serum is going to help you keep that natural uh, moisture that you have in your skin. Like I said, I feel like when people think of it cosmetics, they think of the CC cream, their foundations, which obviously are amazing products, but you really got to check out, you really got to check out their skincare as well. Um, I am going to put on their CC cream though as well, because I want to just do a little bit of makeup today. I feel like you cannot talk about it cosmetics without talking about their Your Skin But Better CC cream. I'm sure you're familiar with this. I feel like we all are. I feel like this totally changed the game when it came to uh, makeup and but if if you're new to it if you haven't heard of it it is a color correcting full coverage cream but it also has anti-aging hydrating serum in it as well as uva uvb spf 50. Um, i'm in shade light medium a little goes a long way with this you do not need a lot at all and i really don't feel like putting on a ton of makeup today i'm kind of going for i feel like this is what i've been living it i'm either not wearing makeup or I'm wearing like just a little bit of makeup, which I also feel like this product is perfect for. Like it's full coverage, don't get me wrong. You're gonna get the coverage that you want in a full glam look, but it's also perfect for those no makeup days because it just feels like you're putting on a moisturizer, but you've got all the coverage you need. This is the um, A Cosmetics number seven, the two-sided brush. I use the big side for the foundation and then I like this side for the concealer. I also have the it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I actually got this several months ago. Um, and see, it's just like the tiniest bit. Like I said, I really don't feel like wearing much makeup today. I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. There's kind of no point to 
do a full face and just hang out upstairs or on the patio. Since we're going through this whole remodel and the house is still not done, um, it's just like affected my everyday, right? Like my everyday routine. And so this is perfect for just kind of getting a little something. Look at that, it's so pretty. A little definitely goes a long way when it comes to their concealer. A lot of times I will just dab the end of the brush on the tip because you don't need very much, especially if you're going for um, kind of like a no makeup look. It's a really beautiful concealer though. I do really like it, but it definitely is full coverage. So if you're looking for a good, like hydrating full coverage concealer, you got to try this one out. I'll link it down below. Make sure to use the links down below. Um, but I'll link everything that I'm using, but also my shades down below as well, as well as the brush. I really like this. This would be a good travel brush too, just because you can use this for your foundation, your, all of your cream products. So I think cream bronzer, stuff like that. You can use it for powder if you wanted to. This is good for concealer. It's also good for contouring. I totally use this for contouring as well. I am not really in the mood to put eyeshadow on, but since I have eyelash extensions, I do feel like sometimes I need to balance out my under eye and this is the perfect product to do that with. This is the Superhero No Tug Shadow Stick from It Cosmetics. I have it in the color Super Slate and it just adds uh, the perfect, the perfect amount of color to that lower lash line. I have like no lashes on my lower lash, but see how that kind of balances out it out a little bit better. Obviously you can use this all over the lid. It's a beautiful, beautiful color and it's super, super creamy. Like look at that color. It's so pretty. It comes in several colors, but I thought this was a good lid color or under. See how that just balances out the lashes. I feel like sometimes I love my eyelash extensions, they're going nowhere, but sometimes I, I feel like my eyes look unbalanced if I don't put something underneath, and this is the perfect product to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair, and I'm just gonna straighten it today, but let's go ahead and dive in to the home remodel update. Stay tuned because I've got so many things to share with you, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see the rest of the remodel, and thanks again to It Cosmetics for partnering with me on this portion of the video. Make sure to check out all the links down below, but let's go ahead and dive into the house. Lots going on. I cannot believe that this is all happening. It has been so much. You've got a lot to see, so let's go ahead and dive in. The room will probably look familiar. We did change out the ceiling fan already. It's still a disaster, but things have started to look different in here. We've started the wainscoting, so this entire room is going to be wrapped floor to ceiling, wall to wall with wainscoting. If you saw in our previous house, we had a lot of wainscoting, but I would consider that faux wainscoting. The molding boxes went directly over sheetrock. They did cabinet grade wood here, and as you can see, let me see if I can show you. Do you see that texture and that depth? So this panel is actually back and then this panel is raised, but it is looking so, so good. They are gonna be adding some can lights so we can do some dim lights in here. So they'll be adding some can lights in here as well, but this room is slowly getting there. We also ended up removing, if you remember, there was a whole like box here with shiplap. We got rid of all of the shiplap in this house and we have officially decided we are going to do the um, stainless steel vent thing all the way up to the ceiling. This is going to be one glass front cabinet all the way to the ceiling. This is going to be a glass front cabinet all the way to the ceiling. And so I do have a question for you. Another help me make a decision. Should we extend the tile up to the ceiling in between the cabinet and the stainless steel hood thingy? Or should we just do sheetrock and paint it? I am leaning towards sheetrock and paint only because I almost feel like eventually I'm gonna wanna change this backsplash. And when I decide to change this backsplash, I figure then I will go all the way up to the ceiling. I do love this backsplash. As you know, this had an inlay, got rid of the inlay, like had to, it was still not my style. Wasn't sure what I wanted to do for the inlay. So I was like, you know what, just match, just match what they have. They were able to buy this more of this tile and match it, which I love it. I do love it. And I do think that this tile looks so good 
with this granite, it looks so, so good. I think eventually I wanna change this to a marble backsplash and I just don't wanna do that right now. I just don't wanna mess with that. It's just one more thing to deal with and we've got way too much going on. So I'm thinking just do sheetrock and paint it up top. And then if in a year or two, I decide that I wanna change the backsplash, do it at that time. Who knows? I may just be like, no, I love this backsplash, which I do. It's simple, it's clean. I feel like it's really classic, but also a little bit more modern, like a classic modern, just because it's a glass subway and not just like a traditional subway. Let me know your thoughts on that. By the way, we have started using this. I'm obsessed. I, I am obsessed. This is like, this is amazing. I ended up ordering two more pot filler options because I, I just decided I didn't love the original one. And I just don't know. So obviously this one's a little bit more modern. This one's more transitional. Which one do you guys like? I think they're both really nice. And I think they both look so good with the color tones. Like this is a much better color gold. Which one do you like better? This one's definitely more transitional with the detail. And this is definitely more modern. Which one do you guys like? I don't know if it'll help if I put it up. I think that's what that looks like. And then that's what that one looks like. Which one do you guys like? So we'll say this one's option one, the tr transitional one. And then the modern one could be option two. Which one do you guys like better? I feel like this video is not doing this tub filler justice because this thing is seriously stunning. It was, it definitely was, or is a statement piece. Um, we weren't sure if we were gonna put it in this corner facing the tub, here in the center or off to the side. And I think we made the final decision to do it here off to the side, just like you see. There'll be like a nozzle to turn right there. And that's where the handheld will be. You can grab it when you're in the tub or giving like the dogs a bath or something. But we're also having a handheld in the shower and we'll most likely give the dogs um, baths in the shower. Maybe I should show you the different positions. Let me show you really quickly. Here's the center. And I'm not saying this doesn't look beautiful. It looks great. I'm all about symmetry. I just feel like you can't see the curves of the fall like look how beautiful those curves are i feel like you get, you lose out on the curves from this and the bathroom door is like just like this so you when you open the door this is exactly how you would see the tub and even though i think this is really really beautiful um trust me this was a tough one for me because i really liked this as well i just like the idea of being able to see the curves of it whenever it's over in the corner. But let me show you in this corner as well. This is where in my head I thought I wanted it. And I don't think this is a bad spot. It is actually probably the most convenient as far as turning it on since the knob would be right here. But I just feel like, in my opinion, this is like looking at the back of a really amazing outfit. And I... I love it. I think it's great. It's not a bad spot at all. I just don't think it's right, right? Like, let me know your thoughts. What position do you like better? Do you like front corner, back corner, or center? Let me know down in the comments below, but let me show you the position that I'm pretty certain we're going to go with one more time. I think this is the winner. I like the fact that you can see the curve of the faucet and keep in mind this can be turned a little bit so you can turn this to even see it a little bit more like that let me know down in the comments i like i i just feel like this is the best position to get the best view of the actual tub filler really can't see a good view of it but it does have um what is it called like a lip here on the bottom i think it's so pretty so technically that is the front and this is the piece that'll be facing our closest to the window. And this technically would be in this corner right here, but it's so pretty. This gold is perfection. It's like a champagne. Oh, I love it. But yeah, let me know down in the comments which position is your favorite. And just to give you an idea of what is happening in this bathroom space, I feel like it's one of those situations where it's gotta get worse before it gets better. Um, as you can see, they have started 
drilling out the area. This is where the tub is gonna go. Um, so the tub filler will go somewhere around there. It looks like they'll need to pull up some more concrete. Um, but yeah, it's slowly getting there, <laughs> but it's definitely a disaster right now. Okay, this is showing up so good on camera, which I'm so excited because sometimes undertones don't show up really well. I feel like the wood floors, especially since we're doing it basically in the entire first floor, the meeting room upstairs, the stairs, the entry, obviously the office, my closet, walkway area for upstairs to the bedrooms, um, but we're doing it in all those areas. I think because of that, I just feel like it's so important. It definitely is the largest single investment that we're doing for this project. I, I mean, I, and, I'm, and I'm not talking about like obviously our whole bathroom remodel, but that's a whole bathroom. I'm talking about one item, like the one item, the wood floors were definitely the biggest investment and the biggest impact I feel. We've had such a hard time and we knew what we wanted. We had darker, darker wood floors in our previous home. We knew we wanted a wider plank. So this is a seven and a half inch plank and we knew we wanted something very natural looking. I really try not to be like negative about them, but they are so not my style. Just think when it comes to floors, go more classic. Always, always aim towards a real actual wood color. You're not gonna see wood this color. Um, this is the color, like this is one of the shades that wood comes in, you know? I think we've narrowed it down to this one. We both really like this one. And as you can see, I do have some paint swatches here, some fabrics and some more fabric. So these are some drapery options. I'll go through a few things that I'm kind of considering. We did already order our couch. This is the fabric for our couch and this is the fabric for some chairs. So we ordered, I ordered a couch in this and a swivel chair in this. And then I ordered two kind of modern chairs in this. This is gonna be the white throughout the house. So the doors, the trim, the wainscoting, and then maybe even some rooms to depending on what I end up finally deciding on. This is gonna be the shade for the media room, and then I'm gonna do this for drapes. That is not a good representation of this color. This is a good representation of this color. Do you see how that color shifted? I don't know why it does that sometimes on camera and whenever I'm taking photos or something. That is not at all. Like what you see right now, it looks like that. See how it looks like tone on tone almost? For the bedroom, for our primary bedroom, and for the guests, I'm gonna do this agreeable gray. Haven't decided if I wanna do agreeable gray with like a white drapes or not. This will actually also probably be, most likely be our headboard. So keep that in mind. So it would be kind of like these kind of colors. I think that looks really good. Doesn't that look so good? And then this is gonna be the cabinets. This one right here, this is gonna be the cabinets in the kitchen. And then this is gonna be the island. So not a lot about black, but we've got a tiny bit of black kind of peeking through. So that'll be the kitchen island. And then I just think it looks really good. I think this wood looks good with all of the colors and fabrics and stuff. I'm considering this color for the boys' bedroom for their curtains. Um, and their walls are this as well. But I like doing a darker a darker curtain in the boys room and yes you see a lot of velvets we have four cats we've got to trust me i wish that i could play around with fabrics i did play around with this one i'm hoping they don't ruin the chairs for this one but yes i have to do a lot of velvets like the couch and the swivel chair is velvet but it's such a large investment that i just don't want to uh, it, get, it to get scratched up our other furniture at our other house got pretty scratched up the really really tall curtains in our other house were velvet and the cats uh, weren't able to snag those but every other curtain in the house had gotten snagged at the bottom on another note this area has become our happy place but i think this girl likes it <laughs> the best she never wants to come inside. I have to literally coerce her and convince her to come inside. She is literally living her best life. She just sits and looks out, watches the squirrels, enjoys the sounds, enjoys the view. Um, yeah, we love it so, so much, but she definitely loves it the most. Okay, I definitely need to change these door handles. And that chandelier is definitely going, but we are here in what will become my office. Yes, floors are going and all this wainscoting is gonna be painted, but I just wanted to share, I love it so much. So the reason why this section isn't being done is because that's where the built-ins were doing. I'm doing wall-to-wall, floor-to-ceiling, 
with desk and cabinetry and shelving and stuff up at the top. But it looks so good. They did the same exact um, molding technique as they did in the media room. And I just love, I love it. I love the way that it turns out. So I cannot wait. This is a much larger office than my previous office. Look at Miss Izzy. Izzy! <laughs> Hello. But I love it so, so much. I cannot wait until this is done. Um, they do have to add a little bit more here to connect these to the built-ins, but they're gonna do that later. It just looks so good. And yes, we will be adding um, crown molding, but they're not gonna add the crown molding until the built-ins are in so that, that it can kind of wrap all the way around. I just realized I hadn't updated y'all on the fireplace. So obviously the top portion is gonna be painted. This wood portion is gonna stay wood looking, but and I would actually love your opinion. I, none of the lights are on in here. Let me, I don't know if the electus is gonna help. Probably not gonna help at all. Yeah, that doesn't really help a whole lot. But, so keep in mind, all this molding, which is the same exact molding that's gonna be in the entryway, that's in the office, that's in the media room, it's the same exact uh, layout, is gonna be painted white. And this is gonna be wood. But, do we like it this tone? Or should I go a little bit darker? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. It's definitely very naughty. You know, I just wanted to add a touch of warmth to this room because it's so tall. Should I leave it like this and seal it? Or should I add a little touch of color? And if you have a stain color that you recommend, let me know in the comments. Okay, this on camera is coming up way darker than it is. It's actually not this dark, but it's a really, really beautiful piece of wood. It's cedar, by the way. Let me know in the comments what you think about the mantle. Make it darker or leave it as is and seal it. Look at this cutie. Oh my goodness, it is such a beautiful day. Look at this pool, I love it. So I'm still in the process of doing everything for the backyard. I do have a little chair set up right there, which I did buy this umbrella table. Obsessed with that, I'll, I'll try to remember to link it down in the comments. If you're looking for a good umbrella table, this one is amazing. It, one is really, really beautiful, it really, really is. Um, and then you can use it as a table, but then this is for an umbrella here, which is great. But then look at these loungers. Ignore my planters. They're all empty. I am so obsessed with these. So everything is individual. So the loungers were purchased individual. Then of course the cushions and then the pillows were purchased individually. I love these and I didn't make, break the bank at all. I just can't see myself spending a ton of money when it comes to outdoor furniture. It, I just feel like, I just feel like you get maybe two or three seasons out of it before you have to replace them and so i don't like to spend a ton of money but these loungers are seriously amazing i actually feel like these are probably going to hold up a little bit longer um than two or three seasons and i can just replace these cushions oh they're so good i love them and they had different color stripes but if you look at this blue it's almost kind of like a faded kind of denim -y blue like a chambray-ish kind of which I love because over time when these get a little bit faded from the sun I um they're, they're not gonna look they're not gonna look faded or bad and then I got these pillows which are of course all outdoor pillows so I love these and I actually feel like this is not even coming up as cute as it is in person on camera. The lighting is just so bad. So you guys know we do have a whole plan to extend this part of the patio. These will go there. But just for now, like this is almost too much, right? But for now it works just because we're probably not going to extend this patio until spring or summertime. Izzy. Minnie. <laughs> they just love it here. And it is such a beautiful <laughs> yes, it's so pretty, but I love it. I love it. It's like the perfect spot to just lounge. It's just such a beautiful day. Look at the pecan trees. They look, all the leaves have fallen. It almost looks a little bit eerie out here. I wish we had more oaks in the back. We have two oaks in the front and one pecan in the front, but all of our trees in the back are pecans. So they look, do look a little bit eerie. I know that I shared some of the progress in this room the other day, but earlier in the video, but they are finished with the wainscoting in here. And I honestly couldn't be happier. Look at the detail. This is gonna be the little mini kitchen area where there's gonna be a refrigerator, a microwave, and some cabinetry. And look at how they added 
like the trim above like the doorways and stuff. It just looks so good, so, so good. This technically is like a media room game room. Hello, Minners. Um, but we're gonna use it as like a den. We're gonna put a big oversized couch with an ottoman, um, big projection screen TV. I might put like a little table over in that corner for like board games and stuff like that. And then behind the sofa, just depending on size, I won't know till everything gets in here. I wanted to put like a counter height table with some stools so that it could just be really fun like movie nights but also just like cozy and stuff like that so it's just such a good space i love it so much i cannot wait and yes wood floors are let's see the progress in here look at the shower it looks like we're starting to lay some tile there's gonna be a marble inlay here this is the marble inlay 